bit of a video for you on buying second hand compressors. Picked this up at a garage sale today. And I'll, for those who don't really know too much about them and uh, think you might be getting a bargain or or not getting a bargain, the, just a few tips on what to look out for when you do buy a second hand compressor. This is a Superworks air compressor, commonly sold at Superjet Water probably five years ago, so straight away you know it's five years or older. Um, 40 litre tank, 2.5 horsepower motor, disposably. Now, I paid $5 for this. Cheap as cheap. Um, back of the gauge is meant to leak. First thing you always check before you start one is whether it's got oil or not. It's that murky mess in the back there. Means the oil's got water in it. That can happen two ways. It can happen through um, just air moisture getting in there, or it can happen through um, physically rain getting in the uh, little breather there. It's just a crankcase vent. The first thing we'll do is we'll drop the oil out of it. To drain it, simply undo the side glass. Ah, oh, look at that mess. Yeah, had no chance of catching that. Look at it. I'll soak that up in a minute, but uh, yeah, you really don't want to be running your compressor with that kind of rubbish in it. They don't make it easy to drain anything, drain them into anything either, so that's. Something to be mindful of, you can't stand them up on their end to do it, I suppose. You want to give that a bit of a clean up too, so you can see the, um, you can see the actual gauge itself. I've got another one of these in the shed, I'll just go and see if the rubber on that's any better. Just fill it with an oil that you can give it a flush out with. I'm just using some light, uh, automatic transmission oil because it's only going to be in there for a couple of hours worth of use the idea being that I can flush out the rest of the gunk that's in there because it'll be a nice light oil to get out just let the level come up a bit there That'll go horribly murky within like an hour's worth of use anyway. So at some stage it's been left outside in the rain and uh, hence why it's probably so faded. Alright, it's got engine oil, it's got an air filter, it's all intact. Um, next thing would probably be to check, see if it's got any water in it. Put a drain bung in the bottom here. That's gonna happen have a look. So we've sorted out the oil. Um, check the relief valve. Spring's not stuck or jammed. That'll prevent it from ever going bang. I've had one that the relief valve failed on and the pressure switch failed on. And the compressor actually stalled out and smoked up the motor and uh, Tripped the circuit breaker subsequently, so they normally won't um, blow a tanker. But if a tank's weak, cause it's rusted out or whatever, you could you could be in a situation where something could go bang, or a hose go bang and stuff go flying. So worth keeping a uh, eye on. Always uh, keep the cord away from that copper pipe where it comes into the tank. That gets extremely hot after it's been running for a while. I'll uh, Take a temperature reading with my laser temperature gun and tell you what that actually gets to. But so uh, let's just see how long it takes to actually fill up um, from empty.
And there you go. Shuts off beautifully as well. What was that about a minute? And uh, it's a 40 litre tank, so it's uh, not the slowest direct drive compressor in the world. Um, when I actually put it in, I'm going to put it on its own power point instead of running a lead to it because it disposably pulls 1850 watts. Um, so you don't want any voltage drop, it just makes the motors work harder and they don't, don't perform as well. They get hotter and they. Yeah. Air, cold air comes in here, goes across the motor, the motor heats up. Hot air blows onto the compressor head, which already gets hot enough as it is. It doesn't. I think it's still touching, it's not too bad. Probably only about 50 degrees. Um, but yeah, you don't don't want to be doing that to electric motors. It kills them. No, its stopping pressure is about 115 psi, and uh, that's more than subsequent for most uh, most small grade air tools. This is going to be excellent for my uh, 100 shot framing gun for doing fences and doing decks and things like that. Let's still run this framing gun all day. Nicer size tank than some of the small like 20 litre ones. Yeah, bloody good pickup for five bucks. Got any compress got any compressor questions or uh, air related questions? Send me a message. Yeah, just thought I'd uh, show you what you you should look out for when you're uh, buying a second hand compressor. But if you're paying five bucks for it, buy it anyway. Even if you only got that switch that worked or a reg that worked, they're worth five bucks. Scrap the rest. Thanks for watching.